When Feet has finished pre-processing the data, click on each of the links to see what the output looks like. Since we only did pre-processing, we only have results for registration and pre-stats. Let's look at the registration results. The first image shows one of the volumes of the functional run normalized to the template you specified in Feet. The red lines and the background image can be confusing at first, but with practice you'll be able to easily tell which is which. In this case, the grayscale image is the functional image, and the red lines trace the major anatomical features of the template. Make sure that the outlines of both brains are aligned, as well as the internal structures, such as the corpus callosum and the ventricles. This image is shown first because if any of the other normalization and registration steps failed, this step would show obvious errors. Scroll down to see the other registration steps. The first one is the alignment of a representative functional image to the high res, or anatomical image. The upper row shows a red outline of the anatomical image overlaid on the functional image, and the bottom row shows the reverse. Observe whether the outlines of the brains match up. Once you've checked those, take a look at the last two montages and see if you can figure out what they represent. Now scroll back to the top of the page and then click on the pre-stats link. These figures will show you how much the subject moved from volume to volume. There are three separate images, one showing the motion in rotations, one in translations, and a combined measure of all of the movements. The absolute motion is the amount of displacement from the reference volume, which in FSL is the middle volume of the time series, and relative motion is the displacement from volume to volume. So how much motion is too much? If there is relative motion of more than half a voxel size or absolute motion of more than a voxel, you may want to consider more advanced correction techniques such as scrubbing or maybe just remove the run from the analysis altogether. So if you acquired a volume with, for example, 3 by 3 by 3 millimeter voxel resolution, you would flag any runs with relative motion of more than 1.5 millimeters from volume to volume or absolute motion of more than 3 millimeters across the entire run. These are only guidelines, and you may decide to change them depending on the population you're studying. If both the registration and pre-stats figures look good, your pre-processing is probably okay. If you nevertheless want to inspect the images more closely, click on Fossilize. When you click on File, Add from File, you'll notice that a new directory has been created, run1.feet. FSL appends .feet to the output label to signify that it contains output from feet. Within this directory, there are many files and subdirectories. The logs folder contains text files reporting what was done for each preprocessing step. The MC folder contains files generated during motion correction. And finally, the reg folder contains the output from registration and normalization. The HTML files are the web pages we were looking at a few moments ago. Load the example func and filtered func data files. Overlay the example func image by clicking on the up arrow here. Example func is a representative volume from the time series. FSL's default is to choose the median volume. Filtered func data, which you can see by clicking on the eye icon here to make example func invisible, is the functional data after all the preprocessing has been applied to it. The most obvious difference is that it is blurrier than the example func image due to smoothing. Remove those images by clicking on the minus sign next to them, and then, once they've been removed, load the high res and the example func to high res images, which are in the reg directory. Once they've been loaded, Change the max contrast if you want, and then make the example func to high res the overlay. You can both hide and reveal it to see whether it lines up with the major anatomical features of the anatomical image, such as the central sulcus and cingulate sulcus, and internal structures 
such as the ventricles. The alignment may not be perfect, but it should be close. As an exercise, try the same quality check with the standard and the high-res to standard images. That concludes our section on preprocessing in FSL. Be sure to check the links below for more exercises and for the next chapter on statistical modeling.